Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys checking today's video out. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about something very disturbing that I have been seeing here on one of the most uh, popular lakes in the state of Missouri. I'm going to go over what that is and sort of give you guys my thoughts on it and really I'm curious to get your guys' opinion when I lay out this scenario, what's going on there. Um, I'll be curious to hear what you guys think what's going on and what's up with this with this lake here. Um, actually, I'm just coming back right now from it. I just got off the water a couple minutes ago, heading back home. Um, also, guys, just a real quick reminder, just want to thank everybody out there that's taken time to subscribe to the channel here. Um, really appreciate that. And if you guys uh, you know, are interested in you know, getting those videos on time every day, one of the best ways you can do it is just hit the subscribe and notification button and uh, never miss a video. It's much appreciated. Okay, guys, let's talk about Stockton Lake in Missouri. Stockton Lake, um, whether you've heard about it or not, used to be one of the greatest lakes in the state of Missouri. I've been fishing Stockton Lake since the 1970s. I've been coming up here since I was in high school. Um, I fish it a ton in the wintertime because I do a lot of my on-the-water uh, jerkbait lessons up here. And um, it used to be a great winter lake. Now, here's the scenario, what I want to lay out to you guys, what's happened here because I am pretty disturbed about it. It's like when I when I first started fishing the jerkbait uh, deal heavily up here on Stockton, it was probably in the mid 90s. So I've been doing it for you know close to 30 years. And every year in November, December, January, and February, this is where I always came to fish jerkbaits because you could get a ton of bites and catch good ones too. On the average, once the mega bass jerk baits came out in the early 2000s, when I would go up here on the average in November, November, December, and January, I would average anywhere between 40 to 60 a day. And probably 25, 25 of those or so would be 15 inch keeper bass. And it was nothing. I mean, it was not out of the norm to catch 50 bass a day. I've had several days where you catch close to 100 a day. Just phenomenal fishing with a jerkbait. And I started noticing about probably 10 years ago, it started getting a little bit tougher. And instead of going out and averaging, literally averaging 40, 50 a day during the prime jerkbait season, it was dropping down to where, you know, you get maybe 20 a day, you know, on a good day. And then as a couple more years passed and five years ago, it got tougher and tougher and guys, what has happened, and I want to give you guys what happened today as a prime example. The last two or three years in Stockton, it has sucked for jerkbait fishing. Now, I know the whole lake. I know every freaking jerkbait spot on this lake. And I've been on Stockton three times over the last week and a half or so. And we've had perfect conditions. Like today, for example, we got out there today. I was on, had an on-the-water lesson. It, we were the only boat at the ramp. It was misty rain, a light, like a five mile an hour wind, water temperature 50 degrees, perfect, perfect, perfect jerkbait conditions. Like 10, 15 years ago, when you got a day like that in November, you, it is guaranteed you catch 50 to 75 a day. We absolutely sucked. We sucked today. We sucked the last two trips that I had when it was perfect conditions. And I noticed last year, it was the same way. Last year, it's like, you know, I kept thinking I was, you know, maybe there on a day they just weren't biting very good. But it's like every single trip that we took down there, it sucked. I don't care if you were fishing a jerk bait, an Alabama rig, a little swim bait, a crank bait, a jig, whatever like that. It's just like the fish are not here in Stockton Lake like they used to be. They're not. The fish are not here like they used to be. And I want to know what's going on here. Now, I've got my theories with it. My theory, my, first of all, here's a couple of my theories. Stockton Lake used to get no fishing pressure. I mean, when I came up here 30 years ago and when we were catching tons and tons of bass, you never saw any boats up here. You might see one or two crappie fishermen, but then the word got out that I was catching them all these fish on a jerk bait up there. People, more and more people started coming. They started having more and more like polar bear tournaments. And Stockton Lake does not have a lot of tournaments because it's so remote, there's no place to stay, but they have a ton of local and regional tournaments. The lake gets covered up by club tournaments and little, 
you know, regional circuits and that type of stuff, it gets a ton of fishing pressure now than it doesn't used to. And also it gets a freaking ton of recreational fishing. It's like when you go to the ramp up here, most all year long, I don't care if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the ramps are full. And that's what amazed me today. There was no one here, but it's rainy and nasty out. Um, but anyway, guys, the fishing has continued to go downhill precipitously over the past five years on this lake. And I do not know what the deal is. It's like we don't have a, there's not a water quality issue. Um, the only thing that it is, it has to be pressure on the fishery. The pressure that has come from more local, local, local and regional tournaments. The pressure that has come from, you know, the recreational people. You know, obviously LiveScope puts a big amount of pressure on them. And the thing about Stockton Lake, this is a lake that it's got clean water in it. So people keep and eat the fish here. I don't care if it's bass or crappie or walleye or whatever. It's like when people come to Stockton Lake, they keep fish. I've, I have seen, I, I can't tell you how many hundreds and hundreds of bass I've seen dudes clean into the boat ramps here at Stockton Lake, largemouth bass. So anyway, it is, um, it, I'm, I'm really, really disturbed by this because like I said, I've been fishing Stockton Lake since the 70s. It's been a phenomenal fishery up until just the three or four or five years ago. It's not because the lake's cycling. The lake has not cycled through that many years out there. I just think it's because of overuse. It's overexposure, it's overuse, and we're seeing the results of that. And I, one thing that I can tell you, and you guys can goof on me and say I'm full of crap, but ever since LiveScope has came on the scene for the past five years, the lake has taken a nosedive. I don't, even with the crappie, it's, it's like I used to be able to go out here. I had five or 10 places where I could go out here and there'd be giant schools of crappie out here just suspended out in open water. They're gone. Those, those crappie schools are gone and they, they've been there for a decade, every single November and December, and they're not there anymore. And it's the same with the bass, guys. I have got hundreds of places to catch them on a jerk bait at Stockton Lake. And you can run all of those places that are key sweet spot places like little key, little key rock transitions that are close to deep water, and little subtle brush piles I know about, and little underwater rock piles. I mean, place, places that are high percentage areas, and you'll never get a bite on them now. I do not understand what the deal is. So anyway, guys, Stockton Lake, I feel terrible for it. It's gotten abused. It's got pounded. The lake is a shadow of what it used to be. And let me know what you guys think. What, what do we need to do? Does the does Missouri Department of Conservation need to intervene here and, and, and put some more stricter career limits on the lake? I Something's gotta be done because I can promise you right now, guys, there's not another living human being that has spent as many days on Stockton Lake bass fishing in the winter for the past 50 years as I have. I have, I, you know, I don't live that far from the lake. I have been up here religiously for 50 years in the winter time, and I can tell you right now, it absolutely sucks compared to what it was just 10 years ago. So anyway, guys, let me know what y'all think, and we'll talk later. See you.